Hello Virgo, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the energy of what's coming toward you in love from August 2nd up until August 8th of 2021. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So make sure that you guys switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for what's coming toward you is message of concern. And we also have the seven of wands here. Okay, so there is someone that's going to be messaging you to cause conflict. Okay, I feel like this is someone that they're going to say something that puts you on defense mode or where you feel like you have to defend or protect yourself. Okay. I really feel like this person's going to be doing this to cause conflict. So for some of you, you may receive like an email, a text message, a phone call. There's going to be some type of correspondence that comes in and it's going to be a little concerning to you. Okay. I feel like this person is going to be doing this to try to stress you out, okay? Because they feel as though you are happy. It's almost like they're trying to disturb your happiness or they're trying to cause you to be bothered. I feel like this person, whether you're happy or not, they think that you're happy. They think that good things are coming in for you. And so they want you to be bothered like they are. Because this person is something about like your growth, your success, your happiness that bothers this person. I mean, they're really stressed over you being happy. I feel like this is someone you're not getting along with. You may have um, isolated yourself from this person or something. The two of you, there's been conflict. Okay. There has definitely been conflict. For some of you, I feel as though this may be a past person. Okay. Okay. Someone from your past or someone that you're dealing with right now that you're not getting along with and they want to cause drama. They also feel as though there's competition. So they think that you may have invested your time and energy into someone else. Hmm. I feel like when it comes to you guys, this person, they actually want to like work things out with you or come, come back together with you. But you guys are focused on a new start because you see this person as someone very toxic. Oh. They're going to be saying some things. For some of you, they may tell some lies. It, whatever they say is going to be a lie. They're going to come toward you with some type of um, manipulative, some type of manipulative correspondence. They may be saying bad things about you. I heard slander, like they're trying to make people look at you in a bad light. This is crazy. They're stressed out because they know that you're guarded. Okay, you put your guard up, you set up boundaries. I feel like at some point this person that like you may have been stressed about them at some point in time, but you guys, like I say, you've set up boundaries, you're protecting yourself. This person puts you through a lot. Yeah, they're this person's bothered by your success. Okay, you have some really good things coming in for you. I feel like you guys are definitely focused on your career. You may be focused on um, like your material possessions, just bettering your life, gaining stability. I also feel like this person, it's almost like they're bothered because you don't need them. See, whatever they're going to be causing conflict about, it's all a facade. For some of you, like I said, they think that you have other options or that you're entertaining other people or something like that. Okay. So spirit is saying like before you react to this person, just make sure that you don't react too quickly. Take your time and use good judgment. Don't let this person bother you. Because like I said, they really want to come back together with you. But you guys are focused on new love. Some of you have a new start in love. There's If you haven't met someone new as of yet, you're going to be meeting someone else new. And they're heartbroken and pissed about it. They're mad. But see, this is someone that cheated on you. This is a past person that hurt you. They cheated on you. They would say things to intentionally hurt you. So yeah, spirit is saying, just hang in there. Just hang there while they're talking. Whatever they say to you, just don't even react to it. 
It may be hard, but try not to react to it. Spirit wants you to remain focused. I feel like this person's trying to get you off guard. Remain focused because you guys have a lot of victory coming in for you. They see that you're moving forward. They're watching you, okay? For some of you, it's like... This person, they want you to have a hard time in life, but they see that you're victorious. This is crazy. Spirit is saying to use your intuition, okay? Because justice is going to be served. For some of you, this is a karmic and you've learned the lessons. And so spirit is blessing you with wish fulfillment. This person's angry. They're pissed. Also be careful because for some reason... I'm feeling like this person, they're really going to show out. Like, I don't like it. I'm almost getting like verbal, emotional, or possibly physical abuse. But they're mad because they see you as someone privileged. They see that you're doing well without them and they want to take it from you. They want to take it. I don't like that. This person's bothered and they want you to be bothered. So yeah, stand your ground, but don't give this person too much of your energy because I feel like they just want you to be bothered because they're bothered. You know, it's sad how people can be bothered by someone else's, someone else's happiness. Just that person minding their own business, being happy. They don't want you to be happy. They're bothered by your, ha it actually stresses them out. Be more Holy Spirit in regards to um, this energy coming toward Virgo and or any cross -watchers. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, but they want to start conflicts. They want to start conflicts. And whatever they say or text you or send you, whatever correspondence you get, it's going to cause you to feel like guarded. Or it's going to cause you to feel like you need to protect yourself. See, they want to hurt you. But Spirit is saying justice is going to be served. Justice will be served in this situation. This person, I don't... All right. Give me more Holy Spirit. Two more shuffles. Mm, 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 mm. They want to cause conflict. All right. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the page of one. See, like I said, communication coming in, but spirit is saying don't even react to it. And for some of you, they're pissed off because you haven't been putting in as much effort with them or either you have withdrawn your energy. Like, you guys are at peace. They want to say something to disrupt your peace. Yeah, see, look, they want to say something to disrupt your peace. So this person's going to be saying something to you to bother you. Give me more Holy Spirit. Why is message of concern here? Why is message? Thank you. Okay, so we have the high priestess. Spirit is saying to use your intuition. For some of you, there may be a secret that comes out. Okay. Now, for some, there's going to be someone. There may be someone from your past, like an ex, that tries to bother you. For others of you, there may be some type of secret that comes out. And it may come out from the ex. Or someone that you've been dealing with or not getting along with. and But for others of you, it could be someone else that exposes some type of secret. Something that's been hidden. Spirit also wants you to use your intuition with this message of concern. Because you have really good things coming in for you. Look at this. You have victory coming in. And so it's important to remain... Um, to remain balanced and to keep your back turned to this person because like I said they just want to bother your peace because they see you happy or they see that you're you're fine without them like you're and for some of you like there's a new relationship coming in if you're single it's going to be very emotionally fulfilling for you this is someone like they're really literally plotting on how they can bother you how they can call, like knock you off balance and it's going to be through some type of communication. Mm, 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 mm. This is sick. Like, I don't get it. I really don't. Give me more about this high priestess energy, Holy Spirit. 
Tell me more about this high priestess. Thank you. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. All right, so for some of you, there's going to be a message that comes out in regards to like someone having a family or being in a relationship that they've been keeping a secret, like a third party situation. For others of you, I feel like... Um, now, for some of you, this person is going to message you wanting to like be a family or be together with you. But spirit is saying to still fight this person off. They're very immature, very much immature. Spirit is saying to continue moving forward. All right. This person is watching you because they see that you're manifesting your best life. This is someone that um, even if they're dating someone, they act as though they're single. They're always searching for greener grass, always searching for better. But yeah, you guys have cut someone out or you have laid down, you have put your foot down. Like you're not taking someone's crap anymore. Like you're, you're not doing it. This is someone that you either abandoned you left them out in the cold or they may have left you out in the cold. But this person, they're bothered because I feel like they are even ha they are either having financial issues or they're about to have financial issues. But they see you as someone abundant. They're also heartbroken that you haven't been focusing on them. So this is just someone that wants you back. But there's going to be some type of message that comes out. But spirit wants you to use your intuition about it. Huh. Give me one more card, Holy Spirit, in regards to this energy. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands here. And that's not you because you're at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. So for some of you, you're going to find like there's going to be some information that comes out about another woman or another man. Hmm. It's almost like they're going to try to affect your confidence. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Because you've ended things with them. And they're burdened by that. Like you've ended a cycle. You guys are a lot more confident in yourself. I feel like you get a lot of attention. They're burdened by that. <laughs> They're burdened by this ending and they're stressed out because they want to be with you, but they did too much to hurt you. When you were focused on them, they were hurting you. This person put you through a deep hurt and they are actually reminiscing about all the things they, they've done and they want to work on it, but you're not putting in the energy to make things work because they broke your heart. So someone's bothered. Don't let this person bother you. Okay. Don't let them bother you. Because someone is going to be messaging you. It could be this ex or this person that you haven't been getting along with or whoever, you know, someone that, that there's been drama with. Someone that you feel like you have to guard yourself from or protect yourself from. It could be them or it could be someone that they've been dealing with. But there's some type of correspondence. There's something that you're going to find out. But spirit wants you to use your intuition about it and also like continue to move in silence. Okay. Don't let this person bother you. All right. So Virgo and or cross watchers, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. And definitely hit that notification bell so that you'll receive an alert whenever I post messages from Spirit to you. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.